posted videos that uh, spoke to me because they were truthful. What brought me to his attention was that he spoke accurately about China. There's so much bullshit about China. And you can tell whether somebody is regurgitating a narrative or in an echo box of narratives that they're regurgitating. But he was speaking the real deal. And that's what brought me to him. He also talked about the real deal, the side, the side of what's going on in the United States. And being an American who had spent 20-some years living in China right now, I can tell you that he was being open and accurate about everything. And like me, there's no reason to hide anything. You just tell it as it is and let the rest of the world howl. That's called life. And uh, he was posting... Uh, uh, videos and um, streaming chats on his YouTube platform. Surprisingly, he wasn't uh, uh, shadow banned or blocked, surprisingly. Uh, but he did make enemies. You know, if, if you go up against the narratives, powerful people will will uh, be upset and they will pay money to trolls and other swamp creatures to harass you but that's fine I have methods around that and he just ignored them what's going on is that he has gone silent it's been about a week now He's gone silent, and there's speculation that he's dead. He blames, he left a video where he blamed uh, the publication, The Daily Beast, that if he disappears, it's because of them. And uh, since everything that he has said has rung true to me, I see no reason to discount his assessment aside from the fact that he is in a war zone and things happen. And knowing the Nazis who are in the Ukraine, um, he could just be killed just because, <laughs> okay? So we don't know the full story. Won't come out for, for a while yet. But the reason why I want to talk about this is because it's significant. It's a significant event. He's a significant person. A lot of what he said rang true to a lot of us on the internet, Americans particularly, who just cannot stand the bullshit that goes through the mainstream media. We just can't stand it. It's no longer even partial truths. It's just out and out fabricated lies. So he spoke truth and it rang to us. Now, I'm sure a lot of Americans didn't want to hear what he had to say about China, but they liked what he had to say about America because it rang true. And that's what happens if you're in an echo chamber, even though you know you're in an echo chamber, if, if you get real information, real intel, you don't want to hear it. But everything he had to say about China was true. Everything he had to say about Russia was true. Everything he had to say was true. And it rang true to those aware in the United States, mostly on the conservative side of the aisle. But I like to believe that it cross-pollinates throughout the political spectrum. And now he's gone. And it's a significant event. And that's what I want to talk about. The significance of his absence. When history books will be written, 
they will list certain times and events that contribute to this change of social order. One of them will be the financial meltdown in 2007-2008 in the United States. Another one will be the setup of proxy governments in the Ukraine and Taiwan by the Obama administration in 2014. Another one will be the formation of a new nation, national nation something or other, it doesn't even have a name yet, by Russia and China on the 4th of February 2022, where China and Russia merged as to one country. And another item will be the disappearance of this man. This disappearance has sparked something, has created a degree of upset in the media, the alternative alternative media that exists in the West. Knowing full well that once the mainstream media was totally taken over by the United States government, the next came was the alternative media, and they sold out eventually, or were corrupted eventually, leaving the alternative alternative media to pick up the pieces. And people moved from the mainstream media to the alternative media, now into the alternative alternative media, the double A media. I'm the triple A media. I'm spawned off from the alternative alternative media because I'm way out there in cosmic land. And I'm watching this. Okay, I'm watching this. And uh, yeah, his disappearance has reverberated throughout the internet blogger sphere, whatever that means. And uh, it's significant. It has affected people. And it is going to be one of those triggers that car contribute to a next stage event, whatever it may be, because we don't know right now. Whether it's domestic turmoil whether it's participation in the Ukraine, whatever it may be, this individual played a role. And as soon as he just started climbing up to mainstream popularity, when I mean mainstream, I mean alternative popularity, okay. Uh, he's gone, disappeared. We don't know the future. Well, most of us don't. I can tell you what's going to happen. Um, United States is going to continue on its railroad track to hell. There will be a manufactured uh, confrontation that will occur in the next couple of years regarding China. China is going to sidestep it and then cut the head off the United States. There will be domestic turmoil, and then things will calm down. By 2030, things should start adjusting to a new reality, whatever that may be. See? Told you the future. Any of you who uh, think that the United States can endure are wholly delusional. I'm sorry to say that. But it's the fact. China does not play. I've said this over and over again. I'm going to repeat myself one more time. They don't. They're nice and polite. Don't fuck with them, guys. Don't you dare fuck with them. They will slaughter you. 
Ming Dynasty style. So, the United States, with the overweight, ill-educated, chumbawamba military, pressing buttons on very, very brilliantly designed high-tech race car equipment, is going to make a spectacular showing. But in the end, China has the numbers, has the brains, has the training, and it's just statistically improbable for the United States to be anything other than second place. And if it continues to push for first place, it may end up being seventh place in the aftermath of the fury. I know it's things you don't want to hear, but that's what's going on. Um, you seen the American leadership lately? Do they look like they're savvy and talented? Nations are ruled by people. They're occupied by people. And this con uh, conglomerate of people is known as a society. Once you have a society that has fallen past the minimum standards of usefulness, it decays and turns to garbage. And that's what we see in the United States. Oh, there's some beautiful buildings in New York City. Oh, there's some great artists and some wonderful talent in Los Angeles. Oh, there's some delicious food over in Chicago and great jazz. There's some really good, nice people in the countryside of America. But the entire foundational structure of the United States is gone. It's destroyed and the society is in ruins. I'm sorry for telling you this, guys. That's the fact. That's the truth. That's it, Jack. So we got this guy, Gonzalo. I hope I said his name right. I'm really not that good with these Spanish-American names. I'll keep them short. Like my names. Don't even get me started on Indian names. Oy, oh. I just say, hey, you guy. <laughs> I don't even try to pronounce those names. But anyways, this, this, this blogger, this video blogger, he's gone, he's missing, he's presumed dead. It's really affected a lot of the people on the alternative, alternative media sections, especially conservative. This will affect their thought processes, not overtly, but subliminally. And that creates a groundswell, a mindset that will color and trigger events down the pipe. So far, I, for one, miss his, his loss. I hope he shows up and is resurrected. I think the guy's a good guy. I think he speaks the truth. I think he's honest about who he is and where he came from. I admire that. You talk about the mistakes you made and the lessons you learned, where you're at and the good and the bad, Good thing. For whatever it's worth, his short stint on the internet blogger, video blogosphere has made an impact on many people and will continue to make an impact whether he is resurrected or not. And uh, that's my thoughts on this matter. You don't have to believe me, but I think a lot of you share those thoughts. Maybe not as well articulated as by myself, but uh, I think you all agree that he's significant and his loss is significantly missed. And you know, 
that being said, I'm going to end this little discussion here with my words to the wise for all my followers. Continue being good. Be kind. Make a difference in the world. Participate in society. Be part of your community. Volunteer. Help stray dogs and cats. Smile. Do more smiling. Buy a coffee for your coworker. So refrain from saying a bad thing. Be traditional in household management and domestic. Be a good person. Do the best you can. And remember, I believe in